First thing you want to do is sharpen your pencil. Now, look at that. That's what I call a sharp pencil. I just want you to know that this is newsprint, okay? This is the newsprint. It's kind of grayish looking, uh, or grayish tan, whatever. It's kind of a... This is the white pecan, okay, paper. This is a much better quality paper. This is for doing your warm-up drawings, okay? You always warm up do it using newsprint. Okay, so for the first part of your assignment, you are going to be making eight drawings of hands. Okay, and you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna fold it in an equidistant fashion like this. Look at that. Almost, I'm gonna come back a little bit. There you go. Right, and I'm gonna fold it back this way. See that? Isn't that beautiful? And now, you are going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rectangles that you're gonna make your drawing in. So now, if you wanna make this a little darker so you can see things better, you can do that. I'm gonna bring my exposure down on this. So I get a better thing here so you can see. Now we're gonna do the hand, the hand, and we're gonna be going like this, like that, and this comes up like this, and that comes like that, over like that, and that comes like this, in like this. Okay, and there you go. Let's bring our exposure up. Bring our exposure up a little bit so you can see that. Now I'm going to do the second one. Right. Coming down. And the whole idea about this assignment is that you are being gestural. Okay? This is a gesture. You're not getting caught up in making it perfect. Let's do the third one. Right? And then we have... The finger, we have a finger here, we got a finger here, we got a finger here, and then bringing this down, this is coming out, and we're gonna try to try to make it look like. And if you notice, I'm not doing an outer outline of things so much, okay? I'm I'm just I'm putting in I'm filling in the spaces. And that's really how you need to learn how to draw. Not being putting outer outlines around if this you can look here. And you can see that's open. That's open right there. That's open. Th things are open. I'm not enclosing everything. That is the kiss of death in drawing when you draw that way. Okay? All right? You want to be totally enclosing everything all the time. All right? I'm just being gestural. This comes up. All right? Got another finger coming up here. Another finger coming up here. Another finger coming up here. Okay, now we did four drawings. Now I'm gonna do my third drawing. Now I'm gonna do the side view of my hand. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna grid this out here. How about gridding? How about that? One, two, three, four. Got something coming up like this. This will be your thumb. This plane on the side of the hand. It's coming down there. Let's do another one. Let's do this again. You've gridded out. That way you know where everything goes. All right, it's got these little curves here. This is coming up. And I'm leaving things open. I'm not enclosing everything. I'm being gestural, and that's how you have to be. Let's do the third one again. And we're getting the thumb picture here. We got a little, whatever we got. All right, and that comes down like that. And you'll be watching this video. You can, if you want to learn, you see it again, you see it again. Watch me do it again. All right. I'm looking at the gesture of the fingers as they go up. And I'm done with this. When you go to do your final, your, your three drawings later, you're, all you're gonna do is come like this with your pencil 
and you are going and my it broke but I don't care I'm gonna use it I'm gonna make it work one two three you have three sections and that's where you're gonna put those three hand hand gestures that you you're going to be working on flipping my page going to the back now I'm gonna do the back of the hand okay I'm gonna go like this that Right, see that? That curve here, the thumb gesture coming up like that, another one coming up like that, and that. And that comes down like a little bit like that. Next one. We're showing the planes. A plane is a flat surface, or it's uh, there. And then here it comes. You want to show the different facets. It's like a diamond. Think of a diamond. A diamond is made up of many planes or facets. This comes up, and then this comes up like that. And it comes like that. It comes like that. And we get that. And this is, we're going to use shadow, light and shadow, to show the form. Okay, and we do another one. This is the other finger. This is the middle finger. Right? And it's on the side, more facets. And we're being gestural. It's not going to look exactly like the picture that you saw previously. Okay? Like you see. I want you to be gestural. Third one. Okay? Coming in like this. Getting the gesture. Fingers coming up. Another finger coming over here. This finger's coming like that. This is your pinky over here. And you're getting that in there. Okay. And you have contour. This is contour. Okay, you have curves. The back of my hand has a curve on it. The same thing is going on here. Like that. There you go. Right? And we can go back into this and put some contour on it. So we let's say it starts looking like a finger, right? And guess what? You're drawing. How about that? You're drawing. You're amazing. Okay? There you go. That's my third one. When you do your final uh, 30 drawings, you're going to have 15 on each side of the page. So you're going to go like this. You fold your paper like this. This is your white paper, your nice white paper, because these are your final gesture drawings. All right? And I'm going to fold this over again like this. And what you're going to end up with is 16 uh, of these. And I'm going to fold this like this. There you go. And I'm going to fold it one more time. One more time. Here. There you go. Okay. And now we're going to open it up. And you can see you're going to have 16. But I'm only asking you to make 30, not 32. Right? So now you have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 here. And you're going to make... Only 15. You can leave one empty if you'd like, or you can make another drawing. Now, this is the page where you have 16 on each one. And now, you are going to make 16 drawings. And you're looking at your, and you're being gestural, and you're going to do them twice, each one twice. This one is the, the hands that kind of make the, the heart symbol. And you're being gestural here. Right? And you're going to do 30 of these. 30. That's three zero. That's a lot. And they need to be, this is gestural. And I'm getting, I'm being gestural. I'm trying to fit things in. And guess what? They're not fitting in. I'm, I'm moving on into the other piece. But it's okay, because I have 16. Right? Right? There you go. Right? And I can even, I can get a little gestural here with my, my, my fingers, right? This is trying to. You want to start seeing the form. Do it again. 
I'm gonna do it again now. I'm gonna start over here, I'm gonna frame it over here, okay? And I'm probably gonna get better this time at this, right? I'm gonna say, okay, what's the gesture here? Okay, this is a heart shape, the fingers, right? Now, I'm not gonna do all these drawings because this is your assignment. And I've already done this assignment a thousand times in class. I'm doing it right now. I do a lot of work right here showing you how to do it. Okay, you got your third drawing. The mama, mama's hand with the baby, right? You got little baby's hand wrapping around mama's finger over here, right? Right, mama's finger and there's a gesture. See how the fingers are? And that gives you a sense of emotion, right? Little baby, baby arm. There you go. Okay, so you're going to do all the rest of these. This one, 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 this one. You're going to flip it and you're going to work on the side here. You're going to do that. You're going to do all of these. And you should be have 15 using the work that I have, the photographs that I've shown you. And um, after you're done with that, then you are going to make take photographs of all four sheets of paper, the sides of the or well, the four sides of the paper, and you're gonna and make a PDF file using Google Slides. And after you do that, then you're gonna upload that to me, and you're gonna make sure what, when you take your pictures that they look good. Okay, they should approximate this level of light and dark when you take your photograph okay it's got i got to be able to see it if i can't see it i'm going to send it back to you and say take the pictures again thanks